This is going to be a real short lesson. I just want to go over, uh, I've mentioned in the past, wget. If you want to download a file from the internet, all you have to do is type in wget and then the link to the file. Um, and wget is on every distribution of Linux I've ever used. Um, so here I have up on the screen wget and then the link to uh, the Ubuntu ISO. So I have that typed in, I hit enter. It'll give you a little status bar telling you how much it's downloaded and give you an estimated time. About 35 minutes it's saying right now. But one of the great things about wget is that uh, if a uh, download gets cut short, like I'm going to hit control C here to stop this, you'll see that I still have the file there, but it's not the full file because I didn't finish downloading it. What I can do now is I can type in the same command as before, but if I do dash C here, it will continue where I left off. So if you're 50% done or 99% done with the file and for some reason you lose your internet connection or you accidentally close your, your uh, shell window, uh, all you have to do is wget dash C and the link again and instead of starting all over, it will start where you left off. And that's a very useful feature. Wget is great for downloading files off the internet. Uh, and so that's how you use it.